Hey, Richie. Hey guys, welcome back. It is kind of a gross cold day again. We're back to cold March. And I was doing a little bit of main tidying. So I thought I would show you guys. I actually already did Richie's main. <laughs> Richie. I just um, trimmed it up and tried to even it out a little bit. Richie is looking like a real hunk right now. He's a chunky thoroughbred, aren't you? He's also tired of standing here. I feel like I'm covered in hair. Shedding season is upon us, as you can see. I'm gonna put Richie away and then we'll kind of jump in. I'm gonna trim Z's mane and catch you guys up on what's been going on. I got the barn cleaned up uh, early today for once, which is a big deal for me, since you guys know I love to leave a uh, dysfunctional mess. So I'm gonna go get Z so that we can tidy up his mane. It's kind of been a little bit of a weird week because the temps dropped really cold again. So I'm trying to do some little tidying up things. I'm taking you guys with me for a walk because I decided to try Gypsy and Z out together, which is so far going well. If you are new to the vlog, then you may be unaware that Z seems to not sleep well. And I'm always trying to figure out better ways to get him comfortable to sleep. Obviously, I'm working with my vet. Look at these guys. They're so cute. Hey, guys. What's up? I do want to hire an animal communicator at some point to discuss this with Z. But for now, I'm kind of trying things on my own time. And I thought maybe giving him a buddy would make him more comfortable to lay down during the day. Gypsy's kind of just pushing him around. The good thing about Gypsy is she is a bossy mare, but she's not really mean. And I feel like in her older age, she won't ever like chase a horse around or anything. When I tried Z out with Norman, Norman really like pushed him around and buried him into corners and was kind of mean to him. Z's a total pushover. Hey buddy. Hi. I'm gonna throw some clips in here of when I first put them out together. It was really cute. This is like day three. Look at my cuties. having this snuggly pony back. Ulcer med, such a great thing. <laughs> so I'm gonna grab him and we'll bring him inside so we can do his mane. The great thing is if Z and Gypsy can get along, they could go in the back grass, grass <laughs> pasture together in the summertime and hang out during the day. Sun was out earlier, so I put him out during the day with her thinking he might lay down and sunbathe with a buddy. But now the sun is gone and it is cloudy and gloomy. Come on, bubby. We've had a couple of really nice flat rides this week. And yeah, we have a dressage lesson today. So I'm just gonna trim this man up a little bit. I like it a little bit longer, but I just wanna tidy it up and room him. He is shedding a little bit too. Do a little shedding today. Just uh, enjoy the day. Oh, you're so handsome. So handsome. Come on. So, these are the grooming things I got out to use today. I'm going to put the beamer on him while we trim his mane. And then once I'm done working on his mane, we'll give him 
a good group for my lesson today. It's pretty crazy how grumpy he had gotten having the ulcers and how he seems really happy and snuggly again now that he was treated. I'm really excited to rescope him on Friday and see what his tummy looks like. I feel like he's a lot happier. If you have been following along on the Z saga, he did not love the probiotic, <laughs> but I am giving it to him orally in the evenings, just so I know that he gets it because he doesn't want to eat it in his food. I also picked him up some fresh alfalfa again. I feel like he's eating his alfalfa really good right now. So just trying to get him to eat as much of his second cut hay and his alfalfa forage, um, more beet pulp, uh, just keeping as much forage in front of him as possible in the form of beet pulp, alfalfa, and his regular second cut hay. So that's been going well. We have reduced the senior grain. Try to do it slowly though so he doesn't drop weight. He does really like the Renew Gold fat and doesn't like the probiotic, but he's still getting it. <laughs> Hopefully it will reset his gut like microbiome and then he won't need it going forward. We'll see. And then he'll need some sort of vitamin mineral supplement, which is where the Biostar comes in. And uh, hopefully he'll eat that when it gets here. I want to start with his mane today. You can see, I wouldn't say it looks bad. It's just a little long. I am playing with it being longer than normal because I like that the weight is trying to keep it down on one side. So today I'm only gonna probably take like a quarter to a half an inch off. More, I wanna just like even it out all along. I've been trying to consistently use healthy hair care's pink stuff on it in his mane and tail and his coat right now since Everything's so like dry in the winter time. So I feel like his hair growth, hi buddy. His hair growth has been good. So it's really not that bad. I'm just gonna even it out a little bit and shorten it just the slightest amount. It's actually growing in pretty even. I'm pretty pleased. Does it look shorter? <laughs> My camera died again. Uh, one of these days, I'm actually gonna learn how to charge it at home. I don't know where I was. I was talking about goals though. And I think it's important to have goals and do goal planning every year. Really great just to kind of get your focus. But I like to have what I call soft goals <laughs> with Z and I want to make sure that there's no pressure uh, just because I feel like I'm cutting off his head. He is a tough horse and I want to always make sure, especially with him, that I'm just enjoying the process and I'm not, I can be very competitive and very performance minded and I want to make sure I'm being a good horsewoman to him and um, just, hi. Uh, reading him and where he's at and keeping my expectations very realistic and somewhat low in the sense that um, he really struggles in a lot of ways that he's still learning. So um, enjoy the process and have goals, but not feel like I'm going to fail if I don't achieve those goals this year. So anyways, I was focusing a little bit on my um, season planning and thinking about my goals for the season on my day off this week. Uh, so yeah, that's kind of what I have been up to. Let's groom him. Put the stool away so we don't knock it over and spook somebody. <laughs> so with the shedding right now, my favorite tool is the strip hair groomer. And I'll show you guys that. This is my strip hair groomer, which is also really dirty right now. This has just become my go-to shedding tool. Rather than a traditional shedding blade, I find that the horses like this a little bit better. It's a little bit more gentle. It has, you'll see, ridges and this part. So I use the little ridge side first to kind of loosen up the hair 
Now Z is shedding less than some of the other horses, you'll see. But you can see how it pulls up the under layer. Oh, that's a good one. So it's really nice for that. You can also use the flat side afterward to kind of groom with, but I like to use little ridges to pull the hair up. Z has a pretty high blanket clip, so I don't have to really groom this part of his coat right now. So I start by going over wherever he has a full coat and he does not really like a curry. So I use this strip hair groomer first on him, which is nice. It's getting up all the hair, as you can see. <laughs> you know, I've talked about my Epona wood curry before, but I like to use this next and just rub over his muscles before I do my brush off. He got a bath last week, so he's pretty clean right now. And I like to rub like my posture prep groomer, same thing, I'd like to rub horizontally up and down across the muscles. And you'll see I'm getting more hair up. And I know that Z likes it when he's not trying to get away from it, so that's a good sign. Then I go back over everything with the strip hair groomer, which he likes a little bit less, but just to get that hair off, that lifted, more hair. Shutting season is my least favorite. I use my beloved pink stuff. It's a concentrate, so you mix it with water, so I need to shake it up before you spray. And I spray it on everything. It's a little cold right now, which is why Z's reacting. You're fine. Once I've sprayed it on, I just very lightly brush to make sure to rub it in a little bit. And that's kind of like my final step right now. Now, I did not brush his tail out yet because I wanted to show you guys something. You may or may not be able to tell because I've already been treating it, that he's getting a bald spot at the top of his tail where he's been rubbing it. Anyways, my friend so kindly loaned me this itch spray or anti-itch, itch relief spray, which seems to be working pretty well because it looks better today. Of course he's standing crooked. So I've been spraying that at the top of his tail and he's definitely been itching less. So fresh and so clean. Mm, so fresh and so clean. That is all I have for you guys today is just trimming a mane and grooming. <laughs> I hope you guys enjoyed the vlog. The vet is coming out to look at one of the client's horses, so I have to wrap up today, but I will see you guys next time. If you enjoyed this video, please make sure to give me a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel, and I love to hear from you guys in the comments. And I'll talk to you guys soon, bye. <laughs> Say bye. He's like, I need to take a nap. <laughs> bye guys.